This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hey, I'm Roland right here at Computex 2015 with Mobile Geeks and we're taking a look at the first notebook or gaming notebook that has the eye tracking integrated that Intel back company Toby is developing and they're finally going to release a gaming notebook that has this bar down here which contains the eye tracking module that is going to make your gaming kind of more intuitive and also is going to help you on Windows. And we'll just get a quick de demo of it here at Computex now. Yeah, so, so let me show you the first step what we can do with eye tracking here. Basically that we start with logging in into Windows. So to log in to Windows I have to do three things actually and it's like looking at the astronaut, looking at the basketball on the right side and look at the telephone. So then Windows actually can log in automatically. However, that's one thing you have to do with an eye tracker and that's the very first time you use it or you install it, you have to calibrate it for yourself. And that's what I'm going to do now, so I just follow the instructions on the screen and uh, look at the dot. During the calibration, you can easily just move your head and you can blink if you want to, there's no, no need to feel stressed or do anything different than you usually would do when looking at the screen. So that was pretty much it already. So let me show you a little bit about how to use eye tracking in games. And here we have an example of uh, showing you uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue from Ubisoft. And what Ubisoft did is they implemented eye tracking in a way to, to, to control the, actually the camera. So we call it the infinite screen. And what you can do is if you look, for instance, on the left side of the screen, the camera will move. If you look on the right side of the screen, the camera will move. If you look up and down, the camera will move accordingly as well. So what you can do, or what happens basically, is that you become one with the game. So eye tracking can, can actually make a connection between the game and the actual game in front of it. However, as soon as I start running, I can actually as well navigate the direction where my character is running to. So it's not only about that I control the camera as I do it now, I can also actually use it to navigate the character. So there's no necessarily, there's, not, there's no need actually to use the mouse. You can still use the mouse, and as soon as you use the mouse, the eye tracking will be disabled. So it's always, it's always the hands which actually do the final decision, but you can use your eyes to go into the game, control it, etc. If I look away from the screen uh, for about two seconds, the eye tracker will actually recognize that I'm not in front of the screen anymore and the game will actually pause. So now you can see the game is paused. As soon as I go back in front of the computer again, the game will continue. Another functionality actually Ubisoft has added to Assassin's Creed Rogue is that you have an aiming function. So if you have a, for instance, wearing a pistol, you can use it to aim towards your enemies. Unfortunately, we have to play at the level 3, so right now I cannot show it. Anyway, so the good thing about Assassin's Creed Rogue, for instance, is also it is available for everyone on, on, on the internet and there's nothing you actually have to do. You only need an eye tracker and Assassin's Creed Rogue, so you are welcome to try it out yourself as well at home. Alright, so that was just a quick look at the Toby iX eye tracking integrated and in, finally integrated into a product that is coming to market which is the GT72 in a special model here from MSI. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks at Computex 2015 and if you like what we do on our channel subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and we'll see you later. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS.